And so the, the calculus that I describe is something that's very simple, which is that if you're at work, there's an old saying, better to be, um, you know, better to risk being thought a fool than to open your mouth and, you know, prove it beyond a reasonable doubt or something like that. It's a bad saying, <laughs> but, but, but it's, but it's wrong, right? It's wrong in today's world. But the, but the calculus is such that if you think about it this way, if, if I think your plan might be fatally flawed and I'm, I'm your subordinate, you're my boss. Um, in that moment, I might be wrong, right? So in that moment, I can, I can speak up and maybe save the day, but maybe not. Um, maybe you won't be mad at me, but maybe you will. Um, and whether or not all of that will happen is, is going to be delayed if, for sure. I mean, your, your anger might not be delayed, but whether or not my intuition about the plan was right or wrong is going to be, hard to sort of figure out objectively for a while. Whereas if, if, and so I'm taking a risk in other words, whereas mm. if I stay silent, there's no risk in that. If I stay silent, I'm, I'm just, I'm just there. Nobody knows. You don't know. Nobody else knows that I had a thought in my mind. I had an objection and I didn't share it. So I talk about that as this fundamental asymmetry between voice and silence. The voice calculus will always lead subordinates towards silence, not voice. Therefore, as leaders, you have to override, override that natural instinct. Now, the Ray Dalio case, Bridgewater, is a very special case. It's, I, I call it an extreme case where mm -hmm. he understands, he so deeply understands that voice calculus, that asymmetry where silence is generally cost free and voice is expensive for people. That he says, why don't we flip that on its head? He says, why don't I reframe silence as unethical? And think about it. It's a really strong statement. And, um, and yet there's a way in which we have to agree with that statement, right? Because if you had a concern about an important decision or issue in a work environment, you know, a strategic decision or a patient care decision, it doesn't matter. And you decided to hold hold it to yourself because it's safer that way. That is unethical, isn't it? Right? Because you mm -hmm. have training, you have expertise, and we hired you to share some of that training, that expertise with others. And so, I think it's rather interesting, and that's why I highlighted in the book that that Ray Dalio labels it as such, where he just comes right out. Instead of saying, hey, we'd love to hear from you, he says, hey, when we don't hear from you, you are really not doing your job. In fact, you're so much not doing your job that I <laughs> believe it to be unethical, right? So it's, it's pretty extreme, but it's, but it's, it's provocative. And I love that. 